So does anybody remember these guys? I say remember because I remember about, I don't even know, maybe a year or so ago, seeing one of these speakers in a store and I was like, holy crap, $3,000 for a speaker? And this is the uh, DVLA, I don't even know if I'm saying that right, DVLA, and this is their website here, um, speakers, and classic Phantom Canadian, 3,000 gold, 4,000 gold Phantom Opera, $4,500 for a speaker. And you could get them, look, you could get them in stereo if you wanted. Have two of them if you had way more money than you knew what to do with, I guess. But if you look at them, very cool. Now, for those of us on a budget, uh, that that's kind of out of reach. And they were big, like they were, they were like, I don't know, this big, this, like they were and they're heavy. Um, but I got a hold of these, actually the guys on Indiegogo that are doing an Indiegogo campaign asked me if I wanted to take a look at these and I was like, yeah, okay. I didn't realize how small they would be. You can tell by the box here that these are not gonna be the same size nor sound quality. And these are the X6. Uh, all X6 Bluetooth speaker purchases through Indiegogo, one year warranty, so that's cool. And right now you're looking at about $80 Canadian-ish for a pair. So that's actually pretty good, I think for a pair. A single one here, $46. Are they any good? I don't know. They're tiny, that's for sure. So we're gonna take a look. We're gonna connect it to my laptop and see what see what they sound like, see what comes in the package. And uh, that's, that's gonna be that, I think. So again, here's their uh, Indiegogo website, X6 Bluetooth speakers. Fill the world with music, kinda cool. Couple different ways you can buy them depending on how you wanna back this campaign, if you so choose. Right now they have got 40 backers, 4,000 bucks. They are above what they were going for, so that's, that's kinda cool. We know that they're made, so also kinda nice. If you have backed them, you should, be, you should be getting them. So that's also good. Uh, here's their specs. So 1.17 pounds. They have a duo mode. So connect two X6 speakers with Bluetooth 5. Immerse yourself in portable surround sound for 4D sound effects. 4D. Now, I don't know how that works, but that's why they sent me two so we could see if we could connect two of these together. Extended playtime, so we got 10 hours. Full function, hands-free calling, uh, bunch of colors. So. I did open one of these, just so you guys know. And I will say, the color that they show here is a lot more goldy than the color that's actually in the box, which is a lot more bronzy, a little more brassy kind of color, coppery, maybe copper, maybe copper. Uh, it does have their operation and some specifics here if you choose to look at it. It's, that's just kind of what it is. So we're going to, we're gonna move this one over. And we'll take a look at this fella right here. What is this? Wireless bass speaker. This one is black. I think both of them are actually black. That's all right. Uh, TWS speaker, wireless, new wireless speaker, 5.0 wireless technology, TWS play at the same time, uh, forming a stereo surround sound. So my hope is, and this is just my hope, is that once you just pair two of them up, they should just see each other. That's, that's my hope. I don't know if that's necessarily true. Um, portable wireless speaker, yep. Good, and specs, looks like the same specs that we saw on their Indiegogo page. And there's there's your color options. The color options look a little more accurate here. There's that kind of brassy, coppery type look. All right, let's 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 crack this open, because again, I think that's, that's kind of important. So, music speaker, some foam, a speaker, What else do we get? We get a little, just so you guys can see this, we do get a little manual here. Uh, one side is in Chinese, one side is in English. Uh, it's small, printing is good though. So has all the features, how to use it, special notes, specifications, and how the physical buttons. So it doesn't go into great detail, but it seems to give you everything that you kind of need. So that's good. We get a, uh, basically your auxiliary cable. So three and a half to three and a half. So headphone style cable. 
which is good if you're coming from like a phone or something or a mp3 player come out of the headphone jack straight into that that's good i'm not going to be using that but it's there this looks like a micro usb that said would have been nice if it was a USB-C, but it looks like micro USB to USB-A. But you get that, that's gonna be for charging. And you ready? This is it. Right? Way more coppery, like brassy, bronzy. You guys see that over there? Right? Way more brassy. It's not, it's not as gold as it shows on the website. This is definitely more of a coppery feel, but it's still kind of cool. You know, set that up on the, on the shelf, it's like a, a mini DVOLA, DVOLA, like a mini Phantom. Is it gonna sound anything like a Phantom? I, I doubt it because, it, you know, $3,000. This right now, like 40-ish, something in there. Um, there's gonna be your power button, uh, your minus, your plus. This is, I think, like their function button. And when you flip up this little fella here, pop, you will see there you got your, uh, micro usb for powering uh micro sd card uh usb a for like a flash drive and there's your auxiliary in there so that's that's kind of nice and that's where this kind of attaches you guys see that okay over there right there's all the different ports yeah it should it, it's it's got lots lots of ports that it can go into um this cool it's like a rubber i guess you can there's a little sticky on that if you want to peel that off so that's a little more let's see Oh yeah, so it gives it a bit more suction, not suction, but it's just sticky, so it's not gonna slide around, right? You see, that's, that's not really going anywhere. All right, that's handy. Um, now, as far as I do know as well, base, of course, is gonna be coming out of the front. So base is out of the your front area, your woofer. And it is only firing from one side. So one of it looks like a speaker, but one is actually a speaker. So I'm not sure which side is which, but let's just put this, we'll put this here so you guys can see that. And I'm going to, this is this is number two, so we'll bring that in a second. And we're gonna try just one. So I'm gonna bring my laptop down here. You guys may or may not be able to see that. We are going to go into my uh, Bluetooth here. So, Bluetooth, Bluetooth, Bluetooth. Okay, ready? So we're gonna turn this on. Bluetooth mode. So that's kind of the standard. If you've bought any kind of uh, Chinese-based Bluetooth speaker, that's kind of what it is. You'll see on the screen here, X6, so there it is, connect. Let's see. Voila, okay, so it sounds like and you do get, you might be able to see that, a little kind of blue little light on the top. It sounds like the sound's kind of coming out of this side. So I'm gonna turn this more around this way so maybe I can hear it, because I think the sound's coming out of, if you're looking at the woofer, sound on the right, okay? So I'm gonna bring up Artlist, some of my some of my music. We can listen to this, ready? And this should have, let's make sure my volume's not too crazy. We're gonna go mid-volume. Mid volume, and we'll play something here. Ready? Crank it up a little bit. speaker this is the thing you have to remember for a $40 speaker am I gonna to complain too much no it's, it's a $40 speaker is it super bass heavy no the actual the rest of the sound actually isn't too bad uh, it's not super bass heavy but again you only have a little woofer over here I guess that's you know yay big it's not very big at all but I don't know if you guys I'll turn this a little bit so you guys can see the woofer the woofer is that right did I even say that right the woofer now I'm gonna play this again see if you guys can see it do you see it like moving ready trying it's it's doing what it's trying to do for sure right and again it's only one speaker so let's try a different type of music let's try something a little more I'll say a little more guitarish turn that back on this way 
Because the mids and highs are actually quite good. So if you're not playing like a bass heavy song, it actually sounds decent, right? Because it this song focuses more on that mids and highs. Okay, that's not that's not bad. It's it's much better if you're not looking for something that's going to produce super low end, right? Because well, you shouldn't be expecting a speaker that you spent forty dollars ish to produce super low end. That's that's just come on. You, that's there's a reason you spend hundreds of dollars on speakers. If somebody can get the same technology in a speaker that cost forty dollars, then all the other companies would go out of business. So, all right, let's let's try let's try doing a second one. So we got we got a second one here, right? You guys, right? Proof two. There's two here. Oh yes. So let's do this. We're pretending that we had these. Now, what would be cool? This would be cool because of course they sit up the same way, and the speaker is firing this way. What would be cool is if they designed it in a way that you could say, I would like to buy them in a pair. And because I'm buying them in a pair, I would like this speaker to actually be on this side. So that when I set it here, bass firing, bass firing, speaker in, speaker in. But now I got a speaker facing this way and a speaker facing the same way. So one's, you know what I mean? It's fine if they're both facing like this, but if I kind of want them angled, I don't know, am I, am I just nitpicking? Maybe. Okay, let's, let's see if I turn this one on. Well this, one, well, this one, see this one. Bluetooth mode. Yep. Okay, so I got these two to finally connect to each other. It seems to be working beautifully, I think. I'm guessing. So, see this guy right here? There's a little, like, that function button right there? That little function button, you hold it down on both when it's disconnected. So, it has to not be connected, as far as I can tell, to anything. So, I had to forget it from the computer. I held these both down. They beeped. I got this weird connection, the blue light stopped flashing. I was like, okay. Then I went back into my Bluetooth and connected one of them. And now we're, now we're hoping. Now we're hoping. So, same song. Coming over here to this lovely little call on me. Again, we're in Artlist, so no copyright strikes. That's, that's excellent. And ready? Oh yeah, that sounds, that sounds way better. Right, you guys can. Oh yeah, even the bass sounds better with two of them firing. So is it a DVOLA killer? No, not by any means, but definitely get two of them. Let's try that, 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 that kind of Rocky song, not Rocky song, but guitar -y song. Where was that? That was somewhere down here. I can't remember this one. Yeah. Way better, without question. The way to buy these is with two. Yeah, yeah. One more, we'll do one more. This one's got a little bit more low endy. It's, it's kind of cinematic. We'll turn it right up. So we got it up at like 90%, ready? It's got a nice sound actually for with that separation. distortion at around 90% power. A little bit. So we'll bring it down just a tad. Right about there. That's gonna fill up a room like this, no problem. Okay, so um, look at these, hey, look at those. That's all right, that's a bunch of okay. So if you buy a single, is it okay? Yeah, it's okay, it's good, it's decent. It's, it's small, it's portable, it's gonna look cool on your shelf. It's kind of, anybody that knows about the uh, DVOLA, is that how you say it, brand, are gonna be like, what is that, 
right? It's kind of a cool conversation starter. And it plays music and it's great to take camping with you and whatever. But if you can drop the money and get two, get the pair, the sound is, in my opinion, considerably better. It's just something about just having the two, that separation, it just sounded way nicer. It's just gets that extra little bit of kick because of the two little subwoofers going. Uh, one by themselves is okay, two definitely is much nicer. And the rest of the sound, the mids and the highs, is actually not too bad. Again, you have to remember, even for a pair, you're only spending like $80. You can easily go out to your local electronic shop and spend two, three, four hundred dollars on a pair of speakers. That's not, that's not hard to do. Is that sound gonna be better? Yeah, out of a single speaker, I would say yes. But being able to give that separation, actually not bad, not bad. All right guys, I'm gonna leave it there. I'm gonna put links to these guys Indiegogo campaign that's going on right now. A bunch of different colors. Realize, like I said, a little more orangey than it is gold, but still cool. And it can take auxiliary, micro SD, Bluetooth, all kinds of stuff. And the duo mode, not, not bad. Kind of cool for the price. All right guys, links down below. Like, comment, share, subscribe. And uh, we'll see you guys next video. Later.